Well, it's that time of year again. It's time for that year of uh, the uh, soup, excuse me, big game. Now, the reason why I didn't say the actual word is because I don't feel I don't really feel like finding out that you can get sued by saying that. So, but I'm still going to talk about it and talk about how it's kind of become a deity. Now, I'm just speaking my ra mind right now. There's no script or anything, so, yeah. Let's first off talk about the ads. A lot of people I've talked to, they don't really... They don't really give much of a shit about the actual football. They really care more about the ads that are in it. And those ads, they cost a lot. They cost about... A million, two million dollars a second, something, for that. And then you still have some more of actually trying to get the ad done. And now they've even had contests of where they don't want to spend money, in which they can't, where they've been getting people from, like, from, like, their community or whatever, or people who buy stuff from them, to make ads for them. And then they'll give them some money, which is probably a fraction of the price of what they actually have to do for getting, for actually making an ad. That's kind of interesting of, like, we spend so much money now on to getting to, for us to, or for companies to buy time on there and still don't have enough money to actually make an ad, or at least in their budget. I imagine they probably have enough money for that, but they have other things they need to spend it for. And then, there's the politics side, or... I guess more of the actual safety side, really. I had looked yesterday, today is the actual day of the game, and it said that there was a white powder found in like a hotel somewhere, and then they got the whole bomb squad on it. That just tells you that, like, they take safety really seriously. Probably almost as seriously as they take it at, like, the Olympics, which. I don't feel like getting into because there's a whole nother uh, can of worms to get into, but um, they take it seriously, so seriously that they I think they closed down for a while, or at least the area around it, so that they get rid of it. And then it was just a dud. It was just I don't know, probably cocaine or something. Who knows? And um, and then. Uh, we're gonna have to cut all this out, but anyways, what else is there to talk about it? Then there's pricings of it. Some of those pricings are really high. Like, if I'm not mistaken, it costs probably about like a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars to get like mediocre seats. It probably costs like maybe a thousand, maybe two thousand. This is just going completely off of, like, hypothesis or whatever. I don't really know, but I imagine it's a lot. And when you look at the game, you actually see tons of people in there. They get tons of revenue off of it. They probably... NFL probably doesn't even care anymore who really goes there. They only care about really the money. And to me, that sounds a little sad because it's, a, it's, a, it's about not really the sport, more really about the game or how it's supposed to be, and now it's the reverse. And honestly, I think that's how it, kind of, how this all boils down. They take all of these precautions and all of this stuff because of money, really. And that's the one goal for the NFL and most other sports agencies, like the NCAA or um, NBA or whatever, money.